Hey guys, it's Casey the Rockstar Flipper. It's Tuesday, uh, beautiful morning here. I have driven south of Tampa to a town close to Sarasota. Um, I am going to some stores called the Goodwill Minnesota stores. Um, they're only in this area. Uh, I don't know where they are outside of this area. There's about four of them here, but pretty much everything in the store is half off. It's just like a Goodwill retail store, but it's half off everything. Um, and then they do like colors of the week and tags. So you just have to like, go in and basically figure out what's half off. Uh, if it's not the whole store, which usually it is, or it's most of the store. And then um, you can buy a, a lot of good stuff and get a lot of good deals. So I came down here, gonna see if I can pick up some stuff at these four stores. Uh, these are a lot smaller than Goodwill retails though. Um, they're really not all that large a size. The buildings aren't very big, but they sell a lot of good stuff packed in them. And there's four within like 10 miles of here. So I'm gonna hit all four of these. And then there's also some pawn shops that I go to around here. So it's gonna be a pretty packed day, but uh, we'll see what we can find. I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so I just left the first store. It's the smallest one around here, the Minnesota, the Goodwill Minnesotas. It had some decent stuff. I may actually go back in there. There's a few items that I wanted, but I wasn't sure about. I might get them, um, but I did grab some really good stuff. I spent $3.50, um, which is incredible. I got uh, this cool little Elmo costume, Halloween costume, but I think it would sell any time of year. Um, paid like a dollar for that. Um, I paid like a dollar fifty. This is a um, Nike golf polo. It's an extra large, it says Nike golf on it. There it is, it's nice. It's like that thermocool dry fit type material. Paid like a dollar fifty for that. That's probably like $12. And then the coolest thing I got, I paid like a dollar for this. It's a Halloween costume as well, but it's from See if I could show you this on the camera. It's from Frozen. And I'm gonna try to set the camera down and show you guys what it is. I don't know if this is gonna work, so bear with me. There we go. This is an Elsa ice Frozen dress. Pretty cool. This will sell, just like I sell all the dresses for girl, little girls to play dress up. Um, that will sell whether it sells for Halloween or not, so I'm not in a rush. We'll get it up, hopefully it'll sell for Halloween, but if it doesn't, it doesn't, no big deal. Um, let me show you guys. This is Goodwill, Minnesota. And you guys can see, I just walked out of there. I rounded up, so it was $3 and, was it like $3.70 or three twenty-three? I rounded up to four bucks, so pretty good. I'll list the shirt, hopefully we'll, we'll sell the shirt for 12 to 14, we'll net like nine on that. Hopefully we'll net around the same on that dress, like nine bucks, that's 18, and then the Elmo I can net six to eight on. So hopefully I can net 25, I paid four, so that's $21. So the plan today is to go to each store and buy four or five, hopefully next door, which is, I'm at the next door, right over there, I'm grabbing something to eat, I'm gonna grab a sandwich real quick. But uh, hopefully the next one I can grab six or seven items and make, you know, 60 to $80. So the plan is after I hit all four of these, you know, to maybe spend 20 bucks, 25 bucks, and have two or $300 worth of stuff, and then I'll hit the pawn shops before I head home. So it's lunchtime. Uh, I got down here a little later than I would have liked, but we'll uh, we'll get through all these stores. There's four or five pawn shops and three more Goodwill stores. So seven stops, about the next three or four hours. So let me grab a sandwich and then we will, uh, we'll hit the next one. And I'll show you guys what I got. All right, guys, back home, coming to you from my bar room, my front entry of my house, filming here, because I didn't want to go all the way across to the office. Uh, back from Sarasota, I went to the Goodwill retail slash uh, what are called Goodwill clearance shops in Sarasota, and they are named Goodwill Minnesotas. They are basically half off everything in the store. They are marked up to that Goodwill retail cost, but by getting it half off, you get some good deals on some stuff. Also, um, a lot of it is already marked down half off, and then they give you 50% additional on certain colored tags that day. So you can end up buying a $4 item for a dollar, and then it becomes profitable and worth your time. So that's where I went. There's like four of them in this one area. It's almost an hour drive for me, but hitting those four all at once is great. Um, I wanted to make this video because a lot of you have asked if it's possible to make good money or to source without having a Goodwill Ben or a Goodwill Outlet. And the answer is absolutely yes. I've showed you guys Salvation Armies, I've showed you guys thrift stores, yard sales, estate sales, 
and now Goodwill Clearance Stores. They're called Goodwill Manasota, M-A-N-A-S-O-T-A, um, or Goodwill Clearance Stores. If you have those in your area, they're also worth going to if they are 50% off the entire store or 50% off the colored tags because you can get some good deals. Um, so I'm going to show you the haul that I got from there today. I believe I spent like $70. Uh, I got to three of them. I didn't get to all four. Um, and then after that, I'm going to address a few more things that you guys had questions on. Some other stuff we'll run through. But let's get to the haul video, and I'll show you guys what I got. Okay, so here we go. Here, let's start with the first one that I went to. Um, this store was a three-item purchase. I was a little tentative in this store, but I spent uh, $4. I rounded up. It was actually only like three twenty-three, but I rounded up uh, for Goodwill, $4. Tax deductible if you round up. Keep track of it. This was a Nike golf polo this ended up costing me like a buck fifty Nike golf for a dollar fifty all day we're gonna list this for twelve or fourteen bucks it is a extra large so it's a good size and you guys can see the price that was on it was 449 they discount that in half down to two dollars and twenty five cents and then I got an additional fifty percent off of that so I actually paid like a dollar fifteen for this one so really really like that one um, the second item we got there and I'm gonna get it up quick and even if it doesn't sell before Halloween it'll sell <sighs> this was a dollar ninety nine got it for ninety nine cents it's Elmo it's an Elmo costume awesome it's first class it's not gonna be over 15 ounces little kids hooded Elmo this thing is twelve fifteen dollars I mean who doesn't love Elmo Elmo's great so gross so far we're probably at like 25 bucks and then the last item I got from that store, everybody knows Frozen. And you know who that belongs to. This is a princess, queen, whatever you want to call her. Is she queen? Is she princess? I don't even know. It's Elsa. Frozen dress, great condition, $15 dress all day, every day. $40 gross, uh, net probably... I don't know, 25 bucks. We spent four. So pretty good to start there. Spent four. Gross uh, 40. Net 25. Anybody keeping keep a running total on that? Okay. Let's go to the second store. My math's off a little bit. So the second store, we spent 20, $28 after I rounded up. It was 27, 27 something. I don't know. I rounded up to $28. You guys can probably see that. Get it in focus. There it is, $28 at the second store. Let's see what we got for $28. So we're up to $32 purchase so far. All right, for $28 we got... Now it's winter, so remember that when I'm targeting these clothes. This is a Hollister long-sleeved women's shirt, sweater top. This one was $224 after uh, getting my half off. So this is probably like 12 bucks. This should sell for 10 or 12, right? Hollister. I know it's not a top brand, but it's still cute. It's a good um, a good fall color, and it's long sleeve. So with the winter coming up, um, it's great. This is Banana Republic. Long sleeve again. Cute shirt. I've sold a few of these Banana Republics for 10 and $12. So we'll just say 10 each, so that's 20 more. Uh, remember, we spent 28 at this store. So, so far, gross sales at 20 um, this, this was great. This is a Nike running hooded shirt. It's dry fit. It's long sleeve. Um, there you go. You guys can see the Nike. I think, what side is it on? Where's it at? There it is. The Nike. Right there. And if I unzip it, you guys can see it says Nike running dry fit. There you go. This is probably 15 bucks. Hooded, long sleeve, Nike running, dry fit. All the all the markings let me know that it's probably gonna be a $15 um, shirt. So that's 35 gross. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Ferrari shirt. We sold the last one for 10. So 45 gross. Uh, this one was. I think this one was like on the floor. Yeah, this was a Salt Life I found on the floor. We usually get 10 or 12 for our Salt Life shirts. So there it is. <clears throat> so 10 bucks, 55 gross. 
There is salt life. This is, is this an extra large? No, this is a large men. So 55 gross, salt life, great brand. We sell all of our salt life shirts really quickly. We don't have any in stock. All right, let's keep moving. Bieber, girls Bieber concert shirt. We'll put it at eight, 63, but the Biebs, the Biebs, Bieber fever. Not a fan, but uh, I'll sell his stuff. $63. Ah, Halloween Horror Nights. A new age of darkness begins, and on the back, Halloween Horror Nights 20. All my Halloween Horror Nights shirts have fetched at least 10, and of course I made a big one on that old one, that Tales from the Crypt one. But this is 10, so uh, was that 63, 73? And then this is a Bruno Italian silk shirt. This was the score of the, uh, of the day. A lot of you are going to be like, what the heck is that? But let me explain to you what the heck this is. So this shirt, if I can get it to lay right. Yep. Okay. So this shirt right here is 100% Italian silk. This is a dress shirt. This is Bruno by it Bruno in Italy, Italia. These shirts, look them up, Bruno Italian shirts anywhere from 20 to $50 used. I'm just going to put this at 25 just to, you know, give us a hint, but we were at what 55, 63, 73, so just assume at 27 puts us at 100 gross. And that was on what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 about 8 items from that store, so 16, 17 twenty dollars in shipping plus twenty dollars a few for so we're probably like a sixty dollar net seventy dollar net so we'll, we'll just call it 65 so we made a 40 you know we spent 28 so we'll, we'll call it 68 we made a 40 dollar profit in that store um and we made a 21 dollar profit in the other store so 61 profit and we spent 32 so far so spent 32 to net 93 it's not terrible Let's go to the last one. I apologize for the plastic bag. I did not empty this out before uh, before starting this video. Oh, give me just a second, guys. Okay, plastic bag goes away. Let's grab the receipt from this store. Let's see what we spent here. We spent 23 at this store. 23. Zoom out. 23. So total spending was um, 32, 52, 50. $55 today, $55. And we're at a 91 net so far. Net. We're probably at like 100 and 130 gross. Okay, $23 purchasing. This is the third one that I went to. Dale Earnhardt shirt, Daytona 500, collectible shirt, 10 bucks. Uh, Dale Earnhardt sells really good. Junior stuff, not quite as good, but Dale Senior, really good. So 10 see what else we got here oh pebble beach girls golf shirt this will be 10 bucks pebble beach stuff we always sell good if you guys ever see it all right we'll get 10 for that that's 20 gross what else do we get here i can't even remember oh demi lovato this is probably more like a seven dollar shirt demi neon lights tour concert shirt but demi sells good it's got a good picture on the front of it so seven 27 dollars We'll keep moving because that one wasn't the best. But I grabbed it. This, this dress. This is an XO. It's not a name brand, but it was a super cute little black dress. I really, really like it. It's got the over-the-head strap there. It's stretchy material. A um, little lace on the bottom. I think this is a $15 dress. So that puts us at 42 gross. This right here is Victoria's Secret. And it's long sleeve, little over shirt there. 10 bucks. So uh, 27, there's a 42, $52. Um, a brand that I like that a lot of people don't like, but I do, it's Rule 925. Sells good, I think it's a $10 shirt. And this says drinks well with others, so cool. $62. I love Victoria's Secret shirt, another one, 10 bucks, $72. Um, this is a 
J Jill. I told you guys or told you guys about this brand. J Jill stretch shirt, fifteen dollars. Look J Jill up. Stuff sells good. Eighty-seven dollars. Um, Saks Fifth Avenue. I'll just say ten on this. It's a stretch shirt. It's Saks Fifth Avenue though. That stuff sells good. Um, Eighty-two. And then this, another one of my crazy brands, but this is 88 and this is a very nice dress shirt. Not my style, but this kind of stuff sells good. $10, 92. And then the purchase of the day. This is, um, it's called Intimate, in, Intimately Free People. This is a brand I told you guys about. Megan sells this. Nicole sells this. Uh, I think Raken has sold it. A lot of people sold this brand. I don't ever get it in Florida, but there it is. Intimately free people. I'm trying to put it up there as close as I can so you guys can see it. There it is. Okay. So this shirt's probably a $20 shirt, maybe $25. So we'll just say 20 We'll say 18 even. Puts us at 110 to 115 gross. So, um, you know, we spent 50 whatever, $55 today. 55 56 dollars today we'll probably do close you know with that store being 110 the other store being a, a, a gross sale of like 30 so 140 we'll probably do gross sales of around 200 to 225 net sales around 140 i would say this is 150 i'd say this is a hundred dollar profit day it's not phenomenal but had i spent more time there had I bought more stuff, which I was just trying to do a little experiment down there today. I am going to go back um, later this week, probably. But um, there are other places to source. There are other stores. You can, you know, maybe you've got a thrift store that is um, half off every day. Maybe you've got a, an estate, a, a rummage store, a junk store. Whatever it is, you got to expand and think outside of the box. It doesn't always have to be about the Goodwill bins or the outlets. The outlets are the best. If you've got them, use it. But even if you have it and you're going there every day, take a day out of the outlet and go to these other places and learn other things that you can buy. Um, you guys know I go out sourcing every day, so you know I'm always looking for new places to go. So it's just something to keep in mind, something to check out. But another 56, another couple hundred dollars in sales. We've got a ton of clothes piling up. I've been sourcing a lot lately. The outlet halls, you guys have seen these halls. Everything's piling up, so we got to get to listing tomorrow. Um, I put some new items up in the store yesterday and today. Had some good sales, so. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned a little something. Make sure you expand, think outside the box, and find some new places to source. So now let's move on, and I'm going to address a couple more things before I let you guys go tonight. Okay, before I run out of here tonight, a um, couple quick questions you guys had asked. Uh, how are the magazines from the estate sale going? Terrible. We have not listed them. We've only sold about $50 or $60. If you go to my sold listings, you'll only see a couple. Uh, some guy messaged me. I ended up selling him some directly. That's the only reason I have some sales that you don't see. Um, we are FBAing on the advice of a uh, YouTube viewer, actually, uh, the Playboy magazines. Apparently, you can send them into FBA, and they will sell very, very well. We have like 90 of them to send in, so we're going to do it. Why not? Um, <clears throat> we're still down like 380 bucks. So if they sell for 10 bucks a piece on FBA and I net like if I can net 5 a piece, I need to sell I need to sell what? Like 50 of them at 5 bucks a piece, 60 of them, 70 of them, 70? We'll see. Hopefully I only need to sell like 50 of them. That's like half. So it's cool. I'm good with it. It's an inventory. We've got the inventory perfectly fine with that. That was question 1. Um question 2 is about questions, frequently asked questions working on it. We're going to do it. I may just build a frequently asked question video like and link it in the bottom of all my... That's actually what I'm going to do. That's a great idea. Instead of like a Google Doc, I'm going to make a frequently asked questions video and then I'll link that video in the bottom of every video in the description box like I do with everything else. And then you guys can just go reference that. Um, maybe I'll update it from time to time. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow night, Wednesday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern over on Professor Sales Channel. His channel will be linked in this description box below. So make sure you check us out there. It'll be a live show. Excited to be on with him. Uh, he's got uh, some good information, some good videos. You can check his channel out. Um, and we're going to discuss uh, a lot of topics from selling to eBay to Amazon, just a lot of broad topics. So nothing really specific over there. We're just going to discuss how he does it, how I do it, um, all that cool stuff. 
Uh, the rest of this week, of course, Q&A Friday, uh, live 9 p.m. Eastern time. If you want to get in on that, make sure to leave me comments, questions, emails, messages, however you want to do it, social media. Um, as always, you can follow me on social media. The links are down below. And um, if you have left me a message, a comment, uh, I've caught up on a lot of it, but I'm behind on my emails. So my emails are from the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to answer all the weekend emails, and then I'll get on Mondays and today's. So little behind comments I'll respond to. I'm going to lay in bed for a while and respond to a bunch of stuff. So I'll get to everybody. I apologize for being behind. Um, you guys have blown me away, blown me away with all the messages and comments. It's a ton of them. It's a lot of them. And I appreciate it. I love it. And I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. And we'll be back tomorrow, Wednesday, with that live video. And then Thursday, uh, probably a haul video from what I buy tomorrow and Friday Q&A. So look forward to seeing each and every one of you. Thanks for all of your comments, your emails, and uh, thanks for everything you guys have done for me. Um, don't forget, if you're subscribed, you're entered to win a $50 Visa card. I'm giving away two, two of them at 10,000 subscribers. So make sure if you haven't subscribed to this channel, this YouTube channel, whatever direction it is subscribe 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 make sure you are subscribed or you're not entered if you don't subscribe to this youtube channel rockstar flipper you cannot win the gift cards so we're gonna do it we're gonna do it at ten thousand we're gonna do it at twenty five thousand we're gonna do it at fifty thousand we're gonna do it at a million maybe if we're all still here thanks guys i'll see you tomorrow have a great night